Special delivery, turbo parts, episode two, water to air intercooler kit. Let's check it out. I'll be honest with you guys, I was not expecting this to show up as quick as it did. But since it did, we're gonna go ahead and keep rolling on our uh, 91 Z28 Camaro third gen. Uh, custom turbo build. And this is all of my parts that I ordered from silicone intakes to make a uh, water to air intercooler. Not a huge fan of those packing peanuts. I can do without that. I'm going to keep digging through here. We'll get all the parts out and I'll show you what I got. And then we're going to go up and uh, show you how I plan to kind of mock up and put these on the car. Digging here. Oh, gross. I seriously hate these packing peanuts. These are the worst. But these are kind of some fragile parts, so I'd rather have it that way. Oh, let's check out everything we got. So, first things first, you can see we got a six inch piece of stainless flex pipe that'll be in our exhaust system going to our turbo. This guy right here. This is our intercooler. They call it a type 14. This is their 90 degree bend. Water to air. We got inlet outlet and or inlet outlet here. Mounting point here. Another mounting point, another mounting point. Let's take a look inside this thing. Oh yeah, look at the core in there. It might be kind of dark, sorry. There's the core. I believe this is three inch in and out. This was part of their like 600 horsepower kit is what this is supposed to be able to cool, I guess. But this will work perfect. And as you can see, it's not gonna take up a lot of space. It's literally, I mean, it's bigger than my hand. Water pump, I don't know how I feel about this. This thing's gonna have to be hidden for sure. Yeah, it's, uh, I think somewhere on here it talked about for your live well, yeah, live well, bait well pump. I mean, yeah, I need a pump to move water, but maybe we'll paint it so it looks not so like a boat. In here, we should have our, I believe it is a 12 by 24 inch, one inch thick heat exchanger, which uh, we'll open this up just to check for damage. Let's see. Is this full of packing peanuts too? No, all right, let's go ahead and slide that out of there. All right, I'll leave this on there for now. So here's our heat exchanger. Got her fill up. That's full of styrofoam, which is kind of neat. Got some mounting tabs. I believe there are top and bottom. I think they're on the side too. Inlet, outlet. Take up less room than an AC condenser would have in the car. So this is actually just gonna piggyback right onto the radiator that's in the car now. All right, the last thing we got here for this kit is I guess we're just not gonna open this very nicely. Oh, there we go. This kit came with another 10 inch cooling electric, uh, electric fan. We'll keep one hooked up to the sniper. This one probably put it on a switch with the pump. So I don't know, I'll have to see what kind of inputs and outputs I can get out of the sniper because I might try and run this in a way that when coolant temp hits a certain point, the sniper will automatically turn this on, but I don't want this running under wide open throttle. This is more of like an at idle thing. So we'll just have to see what we can do to make this work. But I'm gonna take these parts upstairs, show you what we're working with there. And then we're gonna start mocking this stuff up quick. I'll show you kind of where I'm gonna put it. And then uh, I got one more box from Summit Racing actually that uh, should be showing up with 
some more parts and then I can really start hunkering down on some fab work and getting some stuff done. So it kind of dawned on me today, looking back on some of my older YouTube videos, I've been wearing the same sweatshirt in YouTube videos for like the past year and a half, two years. I like it. It's nice. I don't care. Also, it's from Dreaming Big. Go check them out. Okay, anyways, let's do some work. The first things first here, what we're going to be doing, I talked about taking the whole nose of the car off, and I'm actually not going to because my biggest fear is that I'm going to have interference and it'd just be nice to leave everything in place so I know what I'm working with. But right now, I will be taking all this plastic out, these cross braces, the training cooler, and then uh, that'll open things up, show us what kind of space we have to work with. All right, we did a little bit of work. We got that plastic removed out of there. And you can see now, look at all that room in there. Like, why wouldn't you put a turbo in there? But we're not there yet. We gotta make sure things are gonna work. I think, it's super dark in there, uh, so you can't see. But I think we may have to clearance out some of this front support here, maybe even take it all the way out and um, do something different, but I mean, seriously, look at all this space in here. Um, here's our heat exchanger. I'm going to leave it wrapped up for its own protection. Look at that. We're definitely gonna have to do a little fab work in here. But I mean, but this thing is going to fit just perfectly right in this opening and then we'll lean it back and I think these tabs even might be set up to where we can nicely attach it to the side so it'll be fixed there we go look at that yes granted it's still got the cardboard on but it's in there slide the top in first we got some room to maneuver. See, this will be gone over here. That fits just nicely in there. I like it. And then there will be a, another cooling fan in there. What I may do, because we still gotta replace the water pump because it's leaking, I'm gonna go with the LS style, or I'm sorry, the uh, uh, F body style. It comes out up front here, so I'm gonna redo this line so it's coming out and over here, simplify all this. And at that point, we may be able to even take our cooling fan here and move it over and double up our other 10 inch on the other side and just run them both over here if we need the room up here. Because otherwise that cooling fan's gonna be, it's gonna take up some room up here. And this is right where our turbo is gonna be, right in this vicinity. So something else that's kind of cool here, we talked about these ports earlier. I'm pretty sure um, I could probably put a water temp sensor in one of these ports and get another gauge and I can actually monitor the water temp of the intercooler and its efficiency. This thing's like really nice, the welds on it. It actually looks like it's painted too. That's my trains cooler just sitting up there. We're getting ready to crawl underneath, but so far the construction of this uh, Heat exchanger is super nice. All right, so we're under the car now. As you can see, oh, not a lot of room to work here, but I got the I got the air dam still on, and this one is going to get reattached. And I think these are actually really important because if you don't, a lot of people don't realize it, but the airflow comes through here and actually has a oh. This kind of gives the air like a lift effect when it comes under and grabs this air dam and then it'll actually direct airflow up in there to, so you can see our heat exchanger and the radiator. So it's going to be important to leave this and to leave this. There will be, so my exhaust, the way it's going to come down, is going to come right through here, down through here. And I'm actually going to notch this dam out a little bit and then elbow back this way, and then go up this direction to 
the uh, T6 flange for the turbo. And then the exit exhaust will come down and it'll tuck right up in here. And then it will turn out to here to a side exit exhaust somewhere right in there. The intake or the cold side is going to be, there's, so there's only one pipe over here, so it'll come down right through here. And then, if I can somehow, with one hand, here's our intercooler. So, I'm gonna lay this down so you can still see. Now you're looking straight up at it, because I'm also I'm trying to hold the flashlight. This brace is probably gonna have to come out of here, but one way or the other, this cooler is going to sit right up inside there and this would be like the battery tray on the passenger side. I would actually like for one of the ports on the intercooler to somehow line up with somewhere in here and this gets us into the engine bay and if it comes down and if I can angle it this way, even if it's like this one here, set it up, come over here and accept that boot. So I'm just gonna have to do some test fitting and hold it in place. I really can't. I'm trying to hold a flashlight and a camera at the same time. It's not going so good. So let me see what I can figure out. I'm gonna pull this brace off real quick and then, uh, but yeah, right in this corner is where the dinner cooler is gonna sit. Okay, I know it's kind of dark. Sorry. But here's kind of what I was thinking with that. I can get a little more light up in there. So obviously I'll cut a hole in that battery tray-ish area, but the, the battery's actually on the passenger side, and this is the driver's side where the, oh, well the charcoal canister used to sit for the fuel vapors or what have you. So this I think is gonna sit at somewhat of an angle right inside here, and it'll be super easy to mount. And obviously it will tuck up another probably two inches or so after I cut that tray out and then build a custom bracket to hold this up. And this thing will be now down above that air dam anyways. Still be kind of low, um, but this will give access to both the water fittings, the inlet, the outlet, and tuck it up in there nicely where it will be taking up very little space. So I think this will work. I'm pretty excited about it. All right, guys, that is going to be it. Kind of a short video, but I wanted to keep in touch. I'm going to try and do a video um, every weekend, every step of the way. So uh, be sure and like and subscribe. Hit that bell. Um, like I said, I got one more box showing up with some more key components that will help with all of the fitment. As soon as it gets here, it should be here this week. So next weekend, stay tuned. I will be, I'm going to try and do another video then. And uh, we'll actually do some fab work. See if we can get some pipes welded up, get our flange put in place, and maybe even get the turbo mounted. Really make some good progress on this build. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. Dad Gummit, stay good. We'll see you later.